Kevin Scott, you are a proud friar, that I know. Yes, I am. 30, I think 35 years and counting here at the Friars Club. So if Marvin Scott was covering this event, and you are for, for, for picks, which is your... I'm actually not covering it. I'm in a different role on this time. I'm the producer of the event. I've been working on this for two months, putting it all together when uh, the executive director of the club and Jerry asked if I would do it. And I've been working on it, so I'm wearing a different hat tonight. All right, so how would a four-star, award-winning reporter, one of, one of the top reporters in the history of New York, Thank you. cover this event if you were working for Hamptons TV? Well, very simply, you come out here and you know you're covering a very historic moment of an entertainment legend. Jerry is um, been rated as one of the top entertainers of the 20th century, and this is uh, quite historic. The name of building for him, and uh, his name will live forever, uh, along with the the comedy. He's he's brought out the kid in all of us. What what we've seen through his films over the years, and uh, it's so special that we have icons, and so recently we lost such an icon in, in Robin Williams. And in one of the interviews I did with Jerry, he told me a long time ago that his two top comedians were Jim Carrey and Robin Williams. Uh, but going back, his inspiration was uh, was uh, who, uh, Charlie Chaplin. Yes. And, and Jerry is that comedic genius who has carried on the comedy of these other brilliant performers. So if I were here covering it, I would talk about the iconic Jerry Lewis, what he has meant to each and every one of us and bringing the kid out in us through his pratfalls, and he's paid the price. And now forever this beautiful historic building will be named the Jerry Lewis Monastery of the Friars Club. That, that in itself is historic, the first monastery in the world named that for a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Can't top that. Mr. Mayor, you're proud to be a friar, aren't you? I, indeed I am. I'm privileged to serve on the Board of Governors. And this night is a special night for friars and all New Yorkers. Indeed it is. Uh, the people think of the friars as a, a group of comedians who uh, roast each other and uh, tell jokes. But it's so much more. And that's why it's good that uh, we're naming the monastery for Jerry Lewis. Because he has raised billions for good causes. And it's good for us to associate with that. He's our leader, you know, he's our abbot. I know, and you you love the Friars, you love this city, and it's they're both uh, one and the same. Indeed. Catching up with Bill Boggs. I know you're an East Hampton guy. Yes. But tonight we're at the Friars Club here in Manhattan. Yes, I, I actually just had a conversation with Jerry Lewis, but it was so profoundly laced, not by me, that I really can't repeat it. But Jerry's inside, and we're dedicating the clubhouse to calling it Jerry Lewis. Monastery. Proud to be a friar, aren't you? I've been a friar for like 15 years, and it's, it's you know it's, it's more like a fraternity, and it's not just the roasts. We do more actual cultural events than any club in New York. Well, not that, that I have anything to do with that. Well, you're involved in that, but when I think of Bill Boggs, I think of that great talk show you, you you've had. Uh, really? Well, and, the older know. I get, the better I was. I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, McEnroe was, says that. McEnroe gave me that one. That was cutting edge. That. That show, Thank but you're you. producing shows now here. Uh, I'm producing stage shows in the Friars Club. I'm on PBS uh, occasionally on a show called My Generation. Yeah. Jerry Lewis is, you know, one of the last men standing of a certain generation in show business. You, you have Tony Bennett. You have a few others, of the last men standing. And the fact that he's been so dedicated to the club, meaning that he really comes to events. He helped us get Jack Black for the roast. And Jerry Lewis is a big part of this. He's the abbot of the club. I mean. The one of the reasons I joined the club was any club with Frank Sinatra was a president. I figured I better join that club. All right. Jackie, what a night, huh? How exciting. How exciting. I'm hoping to get a few autographs. With any luck, I'll get mine. <laughs> well, to get a whole building named after you, this is amazing. Do you know, I, we were in the running, and he won. He won by two votes. It would have been the so Jackie Marley. Lewis, the, Jackie no, Marley. No, I'm just being a jerk. I think it's a huge honor, and I think he obviously has earned it. He's been around forever. And uh, he's a funny, funny man and an iconic thing, and he's still alive and kicking, and why not? It's now, a, you love this club. What does it mean? to you. I've been a member, you know, the first time I came here, Henny Youngman invited me to lunch, and I made him laugh a few times, which was great, and 
The reason I wanted to join the club is the first time I'd ever been in the building, I came in and I walked in and looked at the dining room, and there was a four top, and there was an empty seat. And in the other three seats were Henny Youngman, James Mishner, the author, and Stan Musial. And I'm like, now that is an eclectic group. And I thought to myself, how bad do I want to be the guy in the fourth seat and see what the hell they're talking about? I, so I've been a member a long, long time, and I love it. I used to talk about it on Howard Stern Show all the time. I used to break my chops. Oh, it's a bunch of old farts. And it's not. It's it's great, fun, smart, well, great people. You said that more people learned about the Friars Club from your appearances because you've always been proud of your I've, Friars I've, connection. I've always talked about it and yeah, there were a lot of people, you know, if you're an entertainer you know about it, but a lot of people weren't aware of it and, you know, it, it, it's a curiosity, you know, as it's steeped in history and it's a curiosity and it's a wonderful thing and uh, and this will put us on the map even a little bit more. He wants to take, <laughs> tell me what to talk about. Tell him if I, I don't know how to talk. To talk about Jerry, Do I know how to club? talk? Oh! <laughs> Do I know how to talk? Ask him. Mark Simone. My next yeah. victim. This guy knows more about show business no, he than don't. anybody. He thinks he does. So, Pat, it's what's, all what's mirrors. new? All what's, mirrors. What's new with Pat Cooper? Hi. Pat how are Cooper. you? I'm doing great. What's going on, pal? We're doing great, and we love this club. We're, we're friars, my brother and myself. And when we heard that you were going to be here to honor your friend Jerry, we said, we got to be there. Well, we, you know, the, uh, the clock is ticking, and uh, we're, uh, he doesn't live in New York, so we really don't get it enough of him, and I've been a friend of his over the years, and he's uh, uh, he's a man that cannot sleep, and he's tortured every night because he's such a talented man, and he likes to, he's like Joan Rivers, he wants to work, 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 and uh, it's, it, you know, it, it, watching him, and as a friend, watching him, that it, it's sad, like, he, he's, he's not going to have the medicine anymore, you know, that's the way I can analyze it, but he's a true entertainer of everything, producing, directing, movies, everything. And the kids today think he's silly. You know, they don't understand the brilliance of a man. Because this man is brilliant. This man did everything a man can do in show business. You know? And he and he, and he, he, he likes to do stand-up. He likes to put the teeth in his mouth and play a Japanese. And people are still doing that. So you don't get it. That's him. That's his talent. A lot of guys would never do that anymore. That's him. Mark Simone, Friars Club. Hey, how goes are you? Together. It goes together. I know you're, you're active in this club. Yeah, I'm the, uh, whatever I am, the proctor, the uh, one of the officers of the club, and uh, I'm the director of the admissions committee, Wow! if anybody wants to join. All right. A rigorous process, All right. but yeah. if you know this guy, it'll you help. got to contact Mark Simone. Mark, tonight, yeah. historically, or hysterically, what does it all mean? Well, Jerry Lewis is a landmark. This building, you know, is one of the landmarks of New York City, and uh, Jerry Lewis is the head of the Friars Club. The uh, Abbott is like our chairman of the board, so tonight we're dedicating the building to him. Rooms are dedicated. You know, we have the Frank Sinatra dining room, the Billy Crystal bar, but we've never dedicated the building to one person, so since he's a landmark, we'll dedicate this landmark to him. He's been in the Friars since 1946. I mean, that is such an awesome honor. There are lots of award programs, but to have a whole building and a monastery yeah. dedicated to one. Not only has he been an active member, a board member, now he's the head of the club, but I think he holds the record for roasts. There was a Dean and Jerry roast, I think, in 48, 49. There were like three Dean and Jerry roasts. I think he's been roasted four more times since then. Uh, remember they did the roast on TV in the yes, 60s? Sure. He was one of those roasts, and uh, nobody means more to the Friars Club than Jerry Lewis. And to, to be in the forefront all these years, you've been in the same category in radio. You, we love your radio program, and uh, you really uh, have such a great show in what you do. Well, thanks. You know, your opinions every day are uh, something that people tune into. To, and it's great having you part of this Friars organization. Well, for all of you out there, if you ever get a chance to look in that building, there's you know the building, there's a lot of historic stuff in there, memorabilia, and well, there, actually PBS is even doing a special on the building as one of the great landmarks of New York. The story of the building, it was originally... Uh, this was uh, uh, somebody's house. Somebody lived in this whole thing. It was a house, and at 
one point Milton Berle bought it. It was going to be his house, uh, and the, his wife hated it. She decided she didn't like it. He was the head of the club at the time, and he gave the building to the Friars Club. In fact, if you go in the billiard room, that's his actual pool table. Uh, it's the only thing he had moved into the building before he decided to give it to us. What a great man. That's amazing. Well, tonight, Jerry Lewis, dedication of the monastery. Gilbert Gottfried, uh, one, yeah, of our, where? one oh. of our more outrageous friars. Oh, you yes. don't mind to be called outrageous. Uh, no, no, no. I meant uh, friars, uh, they could just say uh, a living friar, uh, basically, uh, which narrows it down. Tonight, Jerry Lewis, big honor for him. Uh, yes, yes, it's, it's a big honor. What does Jerry mean to you? Uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry's uh, great. Yeah, he's he's one of, uh, I mean, at the Friars, he's a kid. Uh, you know, uh, Jerry walks in, they go, hey, can we see proof of age at the Friars? <laughs> so, so it skews a little older, the Friars. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yeah. But Jimmy Fallon is a member now. We got some young young guys and uh, young yeah, ladies. That, that just means that Jimmy Fallon will be dead in three days from now of hardening of the arteries. <laughs> oh, is that the Friars food? Or that... uh, yes, yes. It just... They got an A in the window, I see. Yes. So, yeah, so yeah, be... yeah. When, when people sign up, it means that they'll just be dead soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. It's good Thank to see you. you. I didn't expect this, you know, a straight interview, but I know that... Uh, uh, you got a gay interview, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Lisa Lampanelli, Friar. What a big night tonight. Jerry yeah, Lewis. Yeah, and also I'm debuting my blue hair, which I thought that was what the party was Lisa, for. Lisa, you look outstanding. Oh, geez. I'm okay for a 53-year-old person going through menopause. I'm doing pretty good. Well, you know, you, whatever the case may be, you uh, look fantastic. Thank you. So has your looks have changed? Has your act changed? You know what's funny? I'm finding that ever since I got more comfortable with myself, you know, because of the weight loss and cutting off all my hair and possibly getting a divorce that's a happy divorce, divorce. my energy's you, you just got married know, in well, this place. They, you know, for me, three and a half years is a long time. That's a lifetime. <laughs> but I think because of that energy I'm bringing, I started getting standing ovations again, and the comedy's going really well. So I think it's just I'm happier, Yeah. so the audience senses it. I'm still mean as hell, though. I can't help still myself. Still mean, you can't help it. Hey, but I, tonight, we can't be mean. It's a big night. Jerry Lewis. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Jerry, man. I actually, everybody doesn't know this, but he does think women comics are funny. Because when we roasted him a couple years yes. ago, he asked me to be on that roast yes, personally. Yes. I said, I got to be here tonight. I mean, come on. Somebody who helped my career like that, it's, he's a gentleman. As a woman in comedy, I mean, we just had this, you know, Joan oh, Rivers passing yeah. away and whatever. I mean, where, where do you see it going? You know what? I love that Joan opened the doors for you to be bawdy and crazy and edgy, even if you're a woman. And I wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for Joan. Guaranteed. She was the genius and the groundbreaker. I think we're just going to keep getting edgier and edgier till we're not women comics. We're just comics that happen to be women, so we're just funny. Well, Lisa Lampanelli, proud Yay. friar. Yes, I love the friars See, club. we do have younger women in the friars club. <laughs> well, this, this is young for the friars. I'm going to be here every night. If anyone knows the friars club, you know the number one friar is Freddie Roman. Well, 21 years I've been the president of the club, and it's been a joy. And now we're naming the building after Jerry Lewis, who's been our, a commander-in-chief now for six years. And I was told tonight, I'm very honored, that they're going to name the fourth floor men's room after me. Wow. Which is very nice, and I can't now wait. That is an accomplishment. Thank I've you been very there, much. <laughs> I'll think of you whenever I'm there. Done. <laughs> this club, for those people, our viewers, go ahead, who don't know what the Friars Club is all about, how would you describe it? It is the number one show business oriented private club in America. We have a membership that's made up of the biggest stars in show business and the nicest people that are not in show business. And we all get along and we have a wonderful time and we raise a lot of money for charities and I'm proud to have been the president for this long. Well, job well done. You're still making people laugh. Thank you. I am. I have a job uh, 
Let me call you. I'll call you when I get a job. <laughs> no, I have a job no. next Saturday. I'm no. working I and know. I'm happy. I've called you from West Hampton to Absolutely, West Ferry. Absolutely, and I know and that. Points, and points uh, west from God there. bless. Well, you take care of yourself. And, and I thank, thank you. Thank you for all you've done for this great thank club. Thank you, and God bless you for having the nerve to get on Route 27 every week. <laughs> Jerry Lewis was on my TV show about seven times. And I listed my Golden Dozen. I listed John Wayne, Cary Grant, Ronald Reagan, Charlie Chaplin, Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, and always Jerry Lewis. He's beyond a legend. He's an institution. If he were here right now, he would say, I should be an institution. I should be in one. He would say, I would say, I'd be here. It's a great honor. It's a little bit noisy here. I've got more to say. I'll tell you more next time. But I love Jerry. I love you for thinking of me. And many happy returns to you and to Jerry Lewis. You're the abbot. You're yes. the leader of the Friars Club and chairman the great of the board. chairman yes. of the board yes. and and with Freddie Roman and Michael Jury who are the guys who run it every day here at the uh, Friars Club but the work that the Friars Club do, does the philanthropic work they that do it does some wonderful things for a lot of people I'm this this is it makes you proud, doesn't it? Of course. It's a great organization of people that really have compassion and sensitivity to what's happening in the world. That's why why the Friars has always been an electric kind of a group of people that fall into that. They may not feel like it when they get to the curb, but when they walk into the building, it's something that takes hold of their system and they bring good stuff from that. Jeff Gurian? Yes. You know everything about everything, so help me out here. <laughs> this has been some it's night. It's an amazing night, right? What an honor. An honor for the club, an honor for Jerry to be named. You know, all these years, the monastery never had a name. Here since 1957. I think Milton Berle, who is my sponsor in this club, is the one who founded this building. And now it's named for Jerry Lewis, which is incredible. Now, you know comedy. I mean, you're, you're not only in the comedy world, but you've written about it. You're a good I actually, judge. I actually worked with Jerry Lewis when he was roasted in 1986. I was the writer that worked with him for two nights in his hotel room. Just the two of us alone. It was amazing. Yeah. So the world of comedy now, to have Jerry Lewis as, as the name of the Friars Monastery, that's something for the younger groups of comedians that are coming down the line. It certainly is, yeah, to aspire to. And, you know, a a lot of them were born so, so so recently. They're in their 20s. You hope that they know the greatness of Jerry Lewis. A lot of them don't know Milton Berle, you know, Henny Youngman, all the greats that hung out here for so many years, you know. There used to be round tables of comedians when you come in trying to top each other with their jokes. It's a different world. It's a different world. Now they're all in front of their laptop somewhere. Yeah, exactly, whatever. exactly. But he, he represented, some people say, a, a tri triple threat, but he was more than that. He sang, he danced, he's a show business. He did everything. He's a, he revolutionized comedy. He's just, there was only one and there'll never be another, you know, and he still, you can see, he, I guess he's 88 years old, still does the faces, still funny, said he wants to bang a woman before he leaves town, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's only one, Jerry. Only one, Jerry. So let me begin by saying good evening and welcome, friars, ladies and gentlemen. So good to have you with us for this historic moment in the Friars Club history. We celebrate, after 110 years of being here, we are going to name our building the Jerry Lewis Monastery. up here in a few moments to uh, say a few words, but let me say a few words first. May I? Well, for, first let me read all the nice things you wrote for me to say about you. <laughs> all right, Jerry Lewis is a true definition of icon or legend. He's distinguished himself as comedian, actor, director, producer, humanitarian, and don't forget, inventor. The residuals tell him so, right? And something that is not widely known, a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize. That was back in 1977 when then Congressman Lee At Les Aspen nominated Jerry for a coveted honor, describing him as a man for all seasons, all people, and all times. I didn't get it. But it was still true. <laughs> 
Now, the naming of this building is certainly a fitting tribute to Jerry. For so many years, you have tickled our funny bone, and your comedy has allowed us to see the kid in all of us. And you know something? We're still tickled, and we're still laughing. And we thank you for that. We have so many landmarks throughout this great country of ours. There's the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial. Right here in New York, we have the Ed Koch Bridge. But now we have the Jerry Lewis Monastery. And folks, do you realize what a historic moment this is internationally? This is the first monastery ever named for a Jew. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I made Jerry laugh. <laughs> well, we have a number of surprises in store for you tonight, Jerry. But we're going to start. Bring it on. I know you're hungry. But to carry on with the proceedings, it's my uh, pleasure to introduce another legend. He's the Dean Emeritus of the Friars Club. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. Freddie Roman. I'm so proud to be here, Jerry. Jerry, thinking about you and what you've done in your life raising billions of dollars in the fight against muscular dystrophy. And you're winning. And you're winning. And you had so much to do with that. Billions of dollars. And not one dollar for erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Turn it a little bit so Jerry can see this. Oh, wow. my wallet. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is the Jerry Star. Please welcome the prior of the Friars Club for our next presentation, David Kornstein. David. And David will uh, give us the evidence of the first presence of the, this new building named the Jerry Lewis Monastery. And David, would you please unveil our brass plaques in front of the building? There's one. Friars Club, Jerry Lewis Monastery on one side and on the east side of the building. Please, if you would, David. three Jews in the way. Thank you very much. It is a, an incredible honor, and it's something that you have to have happen before you can know the feeling. It's an incredible feeling. And no matter what you've done in your career, somewhere, someone's going to say, he's special. And it's an incredible, marvelous gift from the Friars that I'm so proud to represent and to be there for, for the work that we do. I think it's pertinent to mention one of the big things ahead of us is the Wounded Warriors Project. We have to do some work for them. Why the government, the United States, is so busy sending money to Europa when we should have our guys protected? And I think that it is vital that everybody concerns themselves with these kids that are coming back from Europe without arms or legs. And they sit in the Veterans Administration Hospital for two to three weeks before they're taken care of. I just say that's not the way it should be. We should be so grateful that we help them get back to some normality without the legs and without the arms. These kids have made our lives worthwhile and they should be respected enough that we do something for them when they come back. 
That's my new push, and I'll be pushing hard. We, de we deserve the quality that we get. And it doesn't take long. It takes a moment in the minds of Americans to realize we haven't been there for them. That's the end of my preachment. From here, I would like very much to bang some nice New York lady. <laughs> well, so the trip shouldn't be a loss, you know. <laughs> I thank you all for coming, and I hope you all become friars. That would be in your best interest. Thank you very much. jury, executive director, this is a big night for the Friars Club. It's a wonderful occasion. For the first time... Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming, Jerry. It's the, it's the first uh, time we've ever named the clubhouse in, uh, in honor of anybody, and who better than the legendary Jerry Lewis. Naming a building for someone, this is going to be for years and years to Absolutely. come. And, and Jer what about Jerry Lewis? We all know the answer to this question, but I, I'd like to hear it from you as executive director. What was it about Jerry Lewis that this honor is to be designated to him. Well, he represents the essence of the Friars Club, really a great performer, somebody that cares about the community, somebody that works hard and diligently to remember everybody, not just the occasion, but um, the person that's done great things for the countries you mentioned earlier with the Wounded Warriors and how he's supporting our Abraham Lincoln Awards uh, in, in December in Washington. Um, we, we, had, we have 30 rooms in the club, and every room was named after, is named after somebody, so there was no rooms left, so it's logical, especially since Jerry really is an auteur. It's not just that he's a comedian or a director or a writer. He's everything. So he really represents all the rooms that this club stands for. So it was logical. And a role model for years to come. Absolutely. A man that sincerely and, and genuinely cares about his craft and cares about uh, people in his community and in the entertainment business and those that are not. 
Well, thank you for inviting us. It's our pleasure. We're glad that our friends are here. And it's our pleasure to cover this event. We love covering events here at the Friars Club. My brother and I are members. And uh, for WVVH, I'm Ernie Shemizi with the head man here at the Friars Club, Michael Jury. It's our pleasure to be part of this great club and continued success it's for always Friars. terrific. And we'll see you at our Robert De Niro Carlos Slim dinner uh, in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. a deal. 